because all the people who said, I'll sign your petition, but it ain't going to change nothing. Here I am today. It did. Nearly 10 years ago, Eric Meyer's 17-year-old son lost his life after he was struck on the Garden State Parkway by a car that ran a red light. There are only three traffic lights on the entire 172-mile highway, and all three are here in Cape May County. Since that tragic night, Meyer and others have fought for the removal of those lights. Today, it became a reality. It's the entrance to New Jersey. And you have to stop three times. It was ridiculous. And then when we heard the story about the loss of life and safety, it became almost a no-brainer. Officials joined this morning for a groundbreaking ceremony to mark the start of a construction project meant to eliminate the three traffic lights on the Garden State Parkway at exits 9, 10 and 11. The traffic lights predate the parkway. They were they were part of the local roads. They initially this wasn't part of the Garden State Parkway and um, became part of the parkway and the lights we were, were something that we inherited as part of the, the local road system. First thing we need to do is get rid of the lights for safety reasons. Secondly, congestion. We will alleviate a lot of congestion now, particularly coming into the Cape May region or leaving the Cape May regions. We're going to have three beautiful flyovers, so you'll have uninterrupted flow of traffic. We'll have uh, access exit lanes and access lanes that will not impede the cross streets. Uh, so that's really the way it should be now, the 21st century, and we're getting there. The construction work is expected to take about two years. During that time, officials expect the Garden State Parkway to maintain full capacity. One of the first phases of the project involved building a diversionary road that will carry traffic while the overpasses were being constructed. The total price tag, $110 million. Fortunately, uh, Congressman Lobiondo had uh, secured a long time ago, uh, over 10 years ago, $38 million. $38 million doesn't buy as much today as it did then. The balance, almost $80 million, will come out of the Turnpike Authority's uh, uh, capital program. This is the type of partnership that really makes a difference. It's a partnership between the federal government, the state of New Jersey, the state legislators who all came together understanding that we had to have one unique focus. And um, for the people of Cape May County, uh, this is your victory. And it's a victory for Eric Meyer. And hopefully this will never happen to anybody else. I want to be the last. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Cape May Courthouse.